recording will start soon okay hi kill how are you i am well how are you i'm doing well so i have a few questions for you today i'm just going to be asking you about um technology in your school and how your your personal opinion on um how you feel about it being integrated into the classrooms today well my personal opinion about technology being integrated into um, the classrooms now i think it is a good way to create and to teach diversely for the students now because that is what the world is coming to is more um more technology savvy um the kids are able to maneuver through the different websites and different sites easily and quickly um they can do it independently and um it gives a different differentiation of instruction for the kids for the students especially for the um middle and high school but i teach elementary school i teach second graders so them being able to maneuver and giving um being able to independently um access their own technology is a it's a stamina booster and it's also an esteem booster for them as well okay thank you also um can you give me an example of a way that technology has affected you personally in your classroom? Well, um, before the pandemic, we utilized um, Google Classroom a lot. I co-teach um, with a general education teacher. So we utilized Google Classroom where we were able to assign the students different, uh, different activities. Um, we were able to assign them different activities so that they could access it on their own and um you know we didn't have to we didn't have to teach you know give them all that hands-on teaching we could give them the general you know give them the overall instruction and then they could do their own independent work so that has helped us out especially now that we aren't in the classroom anymore we can still assign them assignments that was my next question i was going to ask you how are you guys still doing it with the assignments as far as everything else goes with everything, with this pandemic and everything, um, how are you assigning work? Are you, that's the only way you're assigning work or is there different ways you're assigning work? Are you being like a little bit more lenient with the work? Well, because our district um, superintendent decided that work will not be graded for our students and we are not able to teach new material. We've been sending, um, some of the websites that we utilize in the classroom like ixl.com which is good it's a free website for them for the students that it goes from k all the way up to grades 12 so they can access reading um, math social studies um, a foreign language and science so they're able to do that we still utilize google classroom we um we send packets via um you know, digital to, digitally um, to the parents through email. Um, and we they also use Prodigy, which is a math game that they um, play within the classroom uh, where they can actually battle one another, which is a cool thing for them to be able to do where they're still able to interact with their classmates. And um, so that's what we've been pretty much doing. Okay. Do you have any advice for future teachers that are getting ready to graduate after this pandemic as far as how they should go about um, for their interviews or when they're already, say they already have their job, their teaching job, how, what, how should they, if they have questions about like, you know, what to do if this was to happen again or things that they should be asking their administration of or anything like that you can have? Um, my best advice would be to... Um, get as much technology and inter get, get as much technology training as possible um, and familiarize yourself in the, you know, with the technology and with the different resources that's out there for the students and also making sure that your students know how to use it, um, you know, effectively and not just play on it or abuse it, but they know how to use it. They know how to log in. They know their information. So if this were to happen or if this is the future of our education, you know, teaching virtually, um, being able to create those activities where your students can still remain engaged is um, really important. And you have to be creative and out of the box and be patient.
definitely have to be patient because they're learning just as long as you are. Okay, well, thank you, Kale. I appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you You're stay welcome. safe. Thank you, thank and good you. luck to you all. <laughs> thank you. All right, bye. Bye.